what up what up what up this is your boy mike and welcome to my channel mike likes it where we explore tech travel and the local bay area news in today's video this is meant for new uber and lyft drivers okay if you find that my content gives you value like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these let's get started on today's topic all right so here we are Today's topic is how does the airport work for Uber and Lyft drivers? Okay, airport runs are great for your business. 100%, I recommend doing airport runs. Before you start doing them though, you must check your region to see what is required at each airport. Uh, for today's topic, I'm using San Francisco's airport as an example since it's the largest airport here in this area. Other airports in this area will still follow these rules also. So just listen up, okay guys, check this out. Typically, you're gonna need Uber or Lyft to create an airport TNC vehicle placard for your car, okay, for you to be uh, uh, able to pick up and drop off people. Typically, it's a placard that has your license plate number on the placard, okay? This year's is purple. You can not get into the waiting lot if you're not correctly badged up either. You'll also need your Uber and Lyft emblems. You're gonna need both of them, okay? You're gonna need them in the front window, and then you're gonna need them in the back window, okay? Sometimes the airport police will check and find you if you break the rules. Duh. <laughs> Don't do that, right? Just go ahead and put your emblems on and then make sure you're good. You guys, have you ever wondered why people wait at the airport? All right. One reason is airport rides tend to pay a little bit better than the regular ways. But once you're at the airport, the rates are like higher, especially here in San Francisco market. Another reason is the quality of the ride rider is higher. It's either people coming here for business or vacation, meaning that they will most likely tip you on that ride, right? So here's what's going to happen when you finish your ride at the airport, okay? Once you drop someone off, okay? Once you finish, sometimes if it's busy, the app will give you another ride out of the airport. They call this first in, first out, okay? Typically, these rides pay better after you drop off your previous customer. If it's busy, you have up to two declines. If you don't accept the third one, you lose your spot in the first in, first out queue, okay? Once you lose those, then you have to go back to the lot to wait, okay? There are many reasons to decline rides, and I always tell people you just gotta be smart, okay? Sometimes the traffic is too crazy one way or the other, Sometimes the ride, it goes too deep into the mountain areas where you'll most likely not get a ride back. Uh, the ride goes into the area, to an area you don't like to work in or if, uh, or it's not going in your directions. You gotta pick what's good for your business at all times, okay? Once you get to the airport waiting lot, a counter will uh, pop up and show you how many people are ahead of you. You also get three chances in the waiting lot to do, uh, uh, you get three chances to decline in the waiting lot if you just do Uber X. After the three chances are up, you're put back into the back of the line. There's another thing though, that if you, uh, if your car qualifies for uber green comfort or electric comfort option then you have three chances to pick a ride from each of those categories which is awesome you get more chances to 
pick rides, right? The better the car, qual uh, the better the car qualifies for more chances. Each group of servers gets three chances, okay? Some disadvantages of hanging out at the airport. Sometimes you can't even get parking in the lot, which is a waste of time pretty much spent trying to get into the parking lot. Sometimes you can't even get in. Sometimes the ride was not even worth it. You wait all this time and you get like a shitty ride. <laughs> Another thing is getting trapped in the parking lot. Sometimes, man, I've been there. I've been there for hours. Like, that's my fault though. I should have left, but sometimes I feel like the rides are gonna come, but they just don't. So sometimes it just sucks, but you get stuck there, right? So those are some annoying things that happen when you uh, wait too long in the parking lot of the airport uh, queue. It is what it is, but you live and you learn, right? And I'm gonna give you one more pro tip, okay? Sometimes when you come into this parking lot and you're waiting, a little ride will pop open in your ride radar and you're able to take that ride. It's basically someone's denied ride that they didn't want, but you know, another man's trash is another man's treasure. Anyways, y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed the content, man, give me a thumbs up. If you liked what you heard today, subscribe to your boy here. Mike likes it, right? Because everyone needs a little bit of a mic in their life. Anyways, y'all have a wonderful day driving. You be safe and make that money.